we're going to go for a little range test in the woods. See what penetration it is in there. That's quite leafy in there. Um, I found if you're up high, you can get a ping from miles away. But it's all about line of sight. So let's see how much we can penetrate in the woods. Right, with the fluorescent green TPU case, seven out of seven. The uh, antenna is on the roof and I've only got a bungalow, but it is on the roof. And I'll give it a quick ping before we go. I can't be bothered to do a proper range test. So I'm literally just gonna send it a direct message and see if it receives it. Okay, I've turned everything on. Where are we? William Solar. So this one, five meters away. Uh, yeah, approximately. So let's give it a direct message. To start with, a couple of tests there already. So let's see, hi. Yep, so that's gone through all right. Right, we're gonna, now gonna go into the woods, have a little adventure and see what sort of penetration we get. Let's do our first ping. We're just on the edge of the woods. It's nice and woody in here, look. So can we penetrate this? It's not really that woody behind me, but we've got to start somewhere. Let's ping it. All right, let's put in test one. Boom. Right, all good. Let's carry on walking. Let's see, test two, one-handed typing. Right, that went all three. So let's see, we're seeing, oh, 102 meters in the woods, RSSI and signal to noise ratio there. Let's keep on going. You can see my other nodes as well. You can look at the numbers. So I'm thinking this is a good test. Quite overgrown in here. So I've been doing lots of testing and what I found is I'm using firmware 2.5 now um, and it's a bit more stable but the MQTT is just random at best. I have to uh, reset my Wi-Fi router all the time. I found it works better if I connect via Bluetooth to the nodes and then use my phone for Wi-Fi, that seems to be much better. But yeah, the MQTT, it might just be there's too many nodes it's trying to connect to, it's jamming everything up. And that's using, well, using the T-Deck and a Samsung phone, but it doesn't like it after a while. So I'm not 100% sure if it just needs, it's a bit buggy because it's all new, isn't it? There's not really even an operating system for the T-Deck yet, which is quite funny. Shall we do another ping? Let's see, that one there. Oh, request a position. That's not the right one. Direct message. All right, test three. I might just type T3. Still all right. Let's come back. It's now saying 86 meters. I don't know if that's accurate. Right, let's keep on going. It's possible I've got, well, anyway, we'll keep on going. But I have quite a few different devices. So I've got this T-Deck, I've got the Haltech V3, and then a Lilygo TT-Go. That seems to give the best signal to noise ratio. I don't know why, but it's six dB higher than the rest. I quite like the Lilygo TT-Go. It's quite a nice uh, device. It also seems to use a little bit less power maybe than the Helltech. I'm doing testing at the moment. It's proper like a jungle in here. <laughs> so I tried the stable firmware and I've tried 2.5 and um, 2.5 seems to be working fine. It's really good. I didn't realize so you can either use the ball this is actually a touch screen, or you can 
So you can tap tap or you can slide. I quite like all that. This was um, from Bangard. Didn't take too long to come actually. Is it 50 something pounds? It's funny, in the, in the woods, you can see how green it is because that's the difference between a, that and a leaf. <laughs> We're actually down by the river here. Let's do another ping. See, it gets on. Where are we now? So, 171 metres in the woods. Let's do a direct message. T4. That's still good. And we are in the jungle. That's pretty good. And we're quite low to the uh, sea level here. 20, 30 metres above sea level. So it's really flat round here is the other issue. I haven't really got any uh, hills I can go testing. Because there isn't any hills. Some in Suffolk and it's flat. This is what you call in the jungle testing. <laughs> We're going down there. That's good, we made it. Don't think people really go down there. I think it's like an animal track. Well, this is quite an interesting thing. The things you find down by the river. Some sort of monitoring thing. I'm not really sure. Well, I wonder how this communicates to the internet. Yeah, I don't know. Fair size solar panel. And then they've got these tubey things. Oh, that's fascinating. come to the clearing in the wood. Look how lovely it is today. Someone has recently cut this bit. Oh, that's not normally cut. How good. Right, so now we're out of the woods. Woods was in there. Let's see if we, and there is a metal fence along there. Let's see if we can ping through the woods. Again, we're not very far away, but let's see what happens. Right, where are we up to? T. But no, we've already done that. T5. Ah, not receiving it. Interesting. Let's hold it up and let's see if we can get a better. Just says en route. Well, let's spam the network. Let's do it again. T6. Aha. So that's what it was. I wasn't holding it up in the air. What is the distance? Yeah, 250 metres, quarter of a kilometre away, through the woods, so that's what it was. I think it was in my pocket at the time. <laughs> yeah, so all this stuff is quite a big learning curve for me. I'm used to electronics and fiddling and drones and 3D printers and all that stuff, and this is like the new latest thing. So it's all quite fun to play with. It is a little bit buggy, but it's new. You know, there's there's not even really a proper operating system for this yet. That's still in development. There was a couple of releases I did see, and people trying it. But it's not usable, and so we're just going to have to wait. It's early days, but I quite like the testing aspect. It's a lovely day, isn't it? So I like the real world testing as well, so we can go out and see how this actually works. In real life, does it work? Can we get the range everybody is showing on the internet? Because the internet is the internet, you have to bear in mind. And some things are quite clickbaity, aren't they? Right, let's try from here. There, some people have burnt some holes. It's a shame. 
plastic bottle. We're going through quite a bit of undergrowth now. I've come out of that little building, so I'm outside, I'm holding it up. Let's go for a can I direct message? At T7. No, it's starting to struggle now. Let's go back a bit because I have come through some hedgerows and stuff. Oh no, sent it. I was, I was a bit impatient. Right, well, let's keep on going a little bit more then. Well, I might as well do my good deed of the day, look. Let's put... Um, I'll, pi I'll pick up the Tesco strawberry plastic bottle. <laughs> it's crazy what people get up to, isn't it? I'm in the countryside. Yeah, where were we up to? Yeah, so I love testing all this stuff. I was quite surprised as well. This has a keyboard. This is a BlackBerry type thing. But I think, again, the firmware is not quite ready yet. Oh, it's a bit windy around the corner. It's an old derelict church up there. There is people's houses up there, so I don't know if I'll walk up there. That is up a hill that way, so we could go that way. Or we could go down there, one or the other. Um, that's flat. Maybe just try flat for the minute and we'll see where we get up to but yeah i was surprised i thought it might be me being dumb you'd be able to send a message using the keyboard well you can type it in and press enter but it doesn't go anywhere you still have to use your phone as a uh, companion so i don't really quite know what that's all about It's an old uh, mill pond. Yeah, so the other thing I forgot is I've only got an 850 milliamp hour high volt GMB cell, single cell, out of a drone. <laughs> so we haven't got the greatest, you know, battery capacity in here, and this drinks the battery. If you keep the screen on all the time, which it is, you can put it in power saver mode and all sorts of things. But if you're just using it, it does use quite a bit of uh, milliamp hours. Shall we do another range test? So it's saying five minutes ago, solar. Direct message. We're up to T8. Right, we're holding it up, and we're going to send it. Oh wow! So that went quite quite quickly. Maybe it was just a bit of a weird spot there. That's the thing with radio, isn't it? You get these weird pockets. It's very similar to light when the light has shadows. You have radio waves. Similar thing. You have shadows. I'll keep on walking down here for a little bit further. What distance was that? Did we see a distance? I don't know if that's accurate. Let's uh, request a position. Let's see if it if it can get it. Oh, it is getting windy. Well, anyway, I'm not sure how accurate that is. We'll keep on going, and I'll send another message. I think I'm going to walk around there. There's the big lake. We walk over there and then um, do another test. I don't think I'm going to walk much further because there is some ho people's houses over here. I'd rather not end up in their garden. This proper wildernessy. <laughs> People 
people don't really walk across here, do they? There's animal tracks. I don't quite know where the edge is. I don't really want to fall in. That makes a great noise. Bit like a flattened bit there. Ooh. Right, I think we'll stay there. Oh wow, look at that. There's still ping. So, oh right, I think that's updated it a bit better. 600 meters. God, it seems further than that. I'm obviously getting old and not very fit. Right, direct message. T. Nine. Let's see. Off it goes. It's a bit windy. Oh, so that's perfect. That works all the way down at this uh, mill mill pond. I can see a baby deer. Just gone up the path to the left. Oh, I've missed it. Oh, there it is. You see it briefly sticking up its head. A little baby deer. Might be a monk jack. In conclusion, I'm actually quite impressed all in all. It was quite nippy um, going back to home. And it is quite woody through here. And we're in the summer, so there's leaves and it's juicy. You know, the drone can suffer a bit from all this foliage. So that was really quite a good test. And it was quite zippy when I sent it. Quick ping. I know we're not very far away. It's probably more of a realistic test, maybe. It's a big upended tree. Where should we test next? That'll be the next thing. I need to go, there's another little hill across the way. That's about two kilometers away. I can e easily get two kilometers. And someone has got a Yagi antenna pointing at me. And of course the location, it's unclear sometimes, because you can spoof the location. But it's saying five, six kilometres away. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to pick up anybody.